Hello all, welcome to the channel. Today we are going to see an introduction of Packet Tracer. Let us take this a very simple example of a network and let us build this network. This is the introduction screen of Packet Tracer. This is empty area where you can do all your networking design. And these are the different components where you can find routers and devices, switches, connections, etc. And once a component is clicked, you can see the different types of components are there. So I have selected routers. These are the different types of routers. And these are the panels which we can use for further actions. Now let us build the same example. Now let us build this network using Packet Tracer. It would be best if you make a note of these addressing table by pausing this video. To build such network, I require three routers. Let us see the routers. So I'll select 1941 router. So I require three routers. Let me just click and drag it into the white area that is for designing. And I need two, two switches nearby the routers. So let me take and drag it up the two switches nearby the router. I require servers at the switch end. So let me move to the end devices. Here you can see this is the server. You can see the description at the bottom as server PT. Click it and place it on the white area. And I would require a terminal nearby the switch 1. So let me click this and place a terminal at the switch 1. Now, if I want to change the names of these, I just have to double click and I have to change over here. Let me take this device name as PCA, this device name as PCB and this device name as PCC. In this case, you can see the switch name starts from zero. In this case, if you want to change it, just double click on it and just give S1. And the same way here, you can give it as S2. These steps are optional. It is not mandatory. Same way for the router. If I have to change it, just double click on it and give here as R1 and here as R2 and here as R3. Now. Formatting part is done. Now next step is my connections. So let me move on to the connections. In the connections, I'll be selecting the copper straight through cable. I'll click on the end terminal. Automatically the nodes occurs. Select on that and connect it to the next end. So I'm connecting the terminal with the fast ethernet. And again here the similar way, I'm connecting the server of PCB. In the same copper straight through cable I'm connecting this PCC to the switch S2. In the similar way I'm connecting the switch S1 with the router R1 here. It is mandatory to check where you are connecting this cable because there are two terminals that is Gigabit Ethernet 00 and 01. As I have shown you in the addressing table, I have connected it to 01. So it would be best I'll move on with the same process, but it's not mandatory. You can also connect it to 00 in such similar cases. So here I have given for 00. So let me change it to 00. So click over here and give it as 00. Done. The similar way I would like to connect it to the switch to the router 3. So router 3 I have connected to 00 again. So now I'll connect it to 00. That's it. This is the connection that can happen among the servers, terminals, routers and the switches. Now what about the connection between the routers? For the router connections as you can see over the table I have selected for the DCE at router 1 and router 2. So let me move on with its connection. So this is serial DCE. Click on that. Connect R2 0 0. We cannot connect it to this port because we do not have the serial port. So now our job is to connect a serial port. So how would we be doing it? Double click on this router. As you can see over here, there are three settings, physical configuration and command line interface. I'll go to the physical design. Here you can see HWIC2T. This helps in producing the serial ports. So click on this and drag it. Again, you will get an error message that you have to switch it on. So when the router is on, we cannot do any changes. Therefore, switch it on. Drag this 
and switch on again similarly produce for r2 again switch off bring the terminal ports switch it on same for r3 switch off bring the terminal ports and switch on so we have created serial ports for all the three routers now we can use the serial dc to connect the routers as you can see for router r2 i have used 010 and the similarly at the router r1 and i have used 010 for connections so you can see click on this 010 and you can click over here 010 it is not mandatory that they have to be same you can select any serial ports but i have already designed an addressing table that's the reason i'm using the similar numbers now make the same similar connection let us check for the r2 r2 it's 011 with r3 it is 010 so select only one serial port is left 010 done the connections are made but still it is not the end you have to do the addressing tables you have to give addresses to every terminals in this network now let us start with the terminals now i'll start with the addressing of pc that is r1 click on this you will get again four tabs physical configuration desktop information custom interface now let me go to desktop where it would be easy for me to give the addresses now click on this ip configuration so you can see there are two types one is for the version 4 the other is for the version 6 version 4 is the default one let us move on with the version 4 in the further practicals we will be seeing about the version 6 now ip addresses we'll move on with the addresses for pca i have selected the addresses 192.168 0.1.5 and subnet mask i had selected the same default gateway default gateway would be the router's address still i have not set the router's address let me keep it empty over here i'll come back to it later now similarly for pcb desktop ip configuration for pcb i have selected the address as 192.168 0.1.6 subnet mask should be the same again default gateway would be the router's address i'll come back to it later now address for pcc desktop ip configuration again for pcc i have selected the address as 1.192.168.3.5 subnet mask should be the same here this would router address will be different from the router of the pca and pcb pca and pcb will have the router address of r1 that is for the default gateway and for pcc the default gateway would be the address of router r3 now let me come to this point again later so now all my terminals are set it's ready except the default gateway so now i'll move on with the routers double click on this router go to config here you can see the ports at the bottom that what all we have used So as you can see I have used 00 so at 00 I have to give the address that is 192.168.1.1 subnet mask the same subnet mask to be kept which I had kept for the servers or the terminals and it's mandatory to keep this port on then it would be activated Now my gigabit 00 is done so next job is 010 so 010 will be having this address that is 10111255255252 so let me give this address switch on the port 10111255255252 change the subnet mask 255255252 done now next i have to check it for the router 2 let me click on router 2 config router 2 has only the serial ports so now i'll select the first serial port click it on and give the address as 10.1.1.2 
subnet mask i have to give the same subnet mask which i have given for the router 255 255 252 next i have to select the serial port of 011 which is connected to the router 3 there the advert address will which i have selected is 10.2.2.2 same subnet mask done so let me close with this router r2 now let me start with router r3 config so router r3 it has the serial port 010 and the gigahertz 00 so 00 gigahertz on let me take the address as 192.168.3.1 subnet mask should be the same as that of the systems done and 010 switch it on give the address as 10.2.2.1 with the submit mask of the routers which is 255 255 255 252 done so now i have completed all the work of the routers but one job is pending that is nothing but default gateway for default gateway we have to give the address of the routers a and b will have the same router address c will have the root address of r3 so let me move on with a ip config default gateway this would be the address of router r1 192.168.1.1 similarly 192.168.1.1 for pc3 192.168.3.1 so 90 percent of my job is done i have even set the default gateway now let us try with sending the packets click on this envelope click on the server a and click it on server b this shows whether the packets from server a can be sent to server b at the bottom end you can see that the status is successful yes we have succeeded it now let us try to send the message from server a to router r1 yes we are successful now let me just try to send a message from PCC to router R3. Yes, we are successful again. Let us delete these scenarios. Now let us try to send the message from PCA to PCC. No, we are failed. The reason is that we have to create the RIP, routing information protocol. Let us see how to do this. This would be the routing table. Every routers should have the following routing information. Let us move on in detail that how to move on with this routing information. Click on router R1. You can see over here routing and the config tab. Routing can be of two that is static routing or RIP. For time being, I'll be using the static routing. As you can see for static routing, when the packet reaches R1, it has to reach to the network that is at the other end with the router R3. So I have to make it recognize the next network. So the next network is nothing but 192.168.3.0, which is the address of the R3, 192.168.3.0. 3 sorry 3 0 subnet mask subnet mask should be the same subnet mask that is 255 255 0 next hop what would be the next hop when the packet reaches to when the packet reaches to r1 the next hop would be to r2 to this particular serial port so i have to give the address of this serial port the serial port address is 10 1 1 2 so it is 10 1 1 2 and click on this add done it is added so we have set the routing table for router r1 now similarly i have to set the routing table for router r2 click on this and go to static here we would be having two one way is that when the packets reaches here it has to be known to this network and the next hop would be this serial port 
Similarly, when the packets arrive from either PCA or from PCB, it reaches here and this net in network has to be identified. For this, the next hop would be this. So by this way, we have to generate the routing information. Now, let us set the routing table. So we have to set the routing table for 192.168.30 subnet mask 10.221. 192.168.30. Point. R3 is router, so I have to take it as 3.0 subnet mask. Subnet mask of R3 is 255, 255, 255, 0. Next hop. Next hop of R for R3 from R1, the next hop of will be R2 serial. So it would be 10, 2, 2, 1 and add it. Next, I have to create a reference to the other network that is for the network that is connected to router R1. So it would be 192.168.1.0, same subnet mask. And the next hop would be 10, 1.1.1, 1 .1 added. So now you can see two networks are referenced from the router R2. Next, we have to update the information for router R3 same static here you can see i have to make it reference to the r1 routers network which is nothing but 192.168.1.0 subnet mask 255 255 255 0 next stop is 10.2.2.2 .2 .2. add so now we have done all the connections now the system is ready to use. So now let's start to send the packets from server A to router R1, which should be successful, which we have already done. Now server A to router R2 should be successful. As you can see, now it is successful, which means that our packets are hopping. Next, let us click and try to see from server A to router R2. R3, yes, that is also successful. Let us clear these scenarios. Now let us try to send the message from server PCA to PCC. Yes, it is successful. Thus our packets are successfully routing. Now let us try from server that is PCB to R2, successful. PCB to R3, Again, successful from PCB to PCC. Yes, it is successful. That's all guys. We have seen an introduction session on how to do the connectivity. Now in the further topics, we will be seeing about packet tracer related to security and computing. Thanks all once again. Do not forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you.